Hello, uh, welcome to another program, our fifth program uh, in a series of programs about Thai cuisine in the United States. Uh, my name is Brian Hoffman and I am a guide here with Turnstile Tours. Uh, very excited to, to host these and present them to you and tell stories of uh, Thai chefs and Thai cuisine in the United States. Um, we're pleased to be able to offer these programs in partnership uh, and uh, with support uh, uh, and sponsored by Thai Select USA. Uh, now as a tour company, our focus, Turnstile Tours, is to give a true sense of place and connect with uh, organizations and communities whose stories have been lesser told. Uh, so uh, that's what we're all about. Normally we're in person giving live tours, uh, but for the last number of months, we've been doing these virtual programs as well. And uh, that is why we've teamed up with Thai Select to offer these for you all. Uh, we hope you've joined us for previous programs. You'll be able to view them. Um, you are already able to view them if you go to turnstiletours.com slash Thai food. Uh, and um, you can view our previous four programs uh, and we have one more coming up. So uh, before I share those with you, I just wanna do a little quick housekeeping. We have closed captioning available today for anyone that might need it. If English is not your first language or you're hard of hearing or deaf, you're able to click on the closed captioning uh, sort of icon in the bottom there and read along as we go. Also, these programs, we love to have your input and we think of these as um, interactive. So please drop in a question, a comment, a memory, a thought, anything you'd like. And the best way to do that is through the chat box below. Cindy Vandenbosch is in the back handling the chat box. She's gonna be posting recipes there, posting links um, to the different places that we'll talk about today. So definitely click on that and you can either send your questions and comments directly to us behind the scenes here by saying all panelists, or you can change that to all panelists and attendees and you can have everyone who's viewing today be part of the conversation. So that is the way to communicate to us. And if you have any questions for the three chefs we have on today, that is the place to drop it and I will send them over verbally to the chefs. Uh, so I also want to, before we start, just go through some of our upcoming programs um, in addition to Thai programs, we of course offer some other ones that connect with some of our partners here in New York and further afield. Uh, this weekend, some of you may know, is Open House New York, which is a very exciting time here in New York. And we have two programs to uh, support that and to tell their stories uh, on Saturday at 12.30 p.m. And by the way, both of these programs are free. Uh, Saturday, we are going live to the Brooklyn Army Terminal, where we will talk about a little bit of the history of the Army Terminal, but also visiting three of the uh, manufacturing businesses and organizations in the Army, Army Terminal. So that is Saturday at 12.30 p.m. And then on Sunday, we're going live to Prospect Park, uh, where we will talking about the waterways there. We'll be visiting the well house and other water features within the park. Uh, and then next week, we will be learning all there is to know about potatoes, everything you ever wanted to know and more. Um, we will be meeting with Bob Leiby, who is in Pennsylvania, and we'll be talking all about potatoes, which will be exciting. So join us for that. Uh, if you want to learn more about Thai cuisine, we're not done talking about it. There's lots and lots to talk about. Um, our sixth and final program for this series will be Tuesday at 1 p.m. Eastern, where we'll be talking about the future of Thai cuisine. We'll be meeting two chefs one here in New York at Bauberg and one in San Francisco at a restaurant called Farmhouse Thai, uh, where they will be talking about how they're sort of um, putting innovative and creative twists on classic and traditional Thai dishes. So that's Tuesday. And as I mentioned, all of these programs are viewable and will be viewable uh, at turnstiletours.com. If you've missed one of the previous ones uh, or you can't make it on Tuesday, after we run them live, they will be posted there, turnstiletours.com slash Thai foods. So be sure to check that out. Now today's program, we are focusing on one of the four distinct culinary regions of Thailand, the Isan or Northeast uh, region of Thailand, which uh, maybe feels a little lesser known in the United States. Although you probably know a lot of the dishes because you eat them well, you just might not realize they were from that region. Um, and this is the region here, uh, uh, Isan, and we actually today, later, will be visiting um, one of the chefs who's, li who's live in the Isan region. Uh, those are the two 
provinces that our chefs are from, the Nongkai and the Nakan Rachsima, which is also known as the Korat region because it kind of so long to say. So it's known as that. Um, and as you see, it is uh, bordering the Mekong River and it's bordering Laos and Cambodia. Uh, and um, it's actually a region that's very arid and rugged and has quite a good deal of both droughts and flooding in the region. But despite those climate challenges, there's actually a thriving agriculture and the cuisine is very uh, diverse and creative. It's generally comprised of roots, herbs, vegetables, and flavor-wise, there's lots of spicy, sour, and pungent notes. Um, the staple part of the diet is sticky rice. Uh, which is often used to lap up sauce or dressings from a dish. Um, this is a dish that I actually ate at a restaurant here in New York. Um, and you can see the grilled sticky rice patties served alongside the pork skewers. Uh, so sticky rice is used in all sorts of forms there. Um, proteins in the Isan region include lots of pork, uh, insects, dried and fermented river fish, and they are very famous for barbecued and marinated meats. Uh, like the next photo here, which is the famous Gayang, which we will learn more about and I think actually see at one of the markets in Thailand. Uh, so this is grilled chicken that is just incredibly delicious. Uh, there's also an iconic fermented sausage uh, that we will also talk about today, um, which again, I've been eating a lot of this food here in New York where we're blessed to have wonderful Thai restaurants here in New York um, uh, of, from all different regions. And so uh, this is that famous fermented pork sausage called Sai Krok Isan, which um, uh, is, is really addicting. It's made with pork and rice and chilies. It's garlicky, spicy and sour. And one of our chefs uh, has been preparing that and we'll talk more about that. Um, some of the most famous dishes are, are actually uh, spicy meat salads. Um, there's the famous larb salad, which is in the next photo here. This is a, a, a mushroom version of it from our chef from one of our chefs from last week, um, Chef Yo from Pinto Garden, this is his mushroom larb. And it's comprised usually of minced meat, or in this case, mushroom, chili, lime, and mint. Uh, and they become a favorite of uh, diners across the world for their spicy, bold flavors. Um, the one dish you probably are definitely familiar with if you've eaten at any Thai restaurants uh, from the East Sun region is the famous Sumtom salad, which is probably now as prevalent as Pad Thai is on restaurant menus. Uh, and I'm not gonna talk too much about that because we have an expert on the subject coming to the show in just a moment um, to talk about both the Thai and Lao version of Sam Tam, of that papaya salad. Uh, and uh, this is the chef we're gonna meet in, in, in just a moment. We're gonna meet Chef Kulsatri Nori, who goes by uh, the nickname Chef uh, um, Pinam. And we're also gonna meet Suki, who, uh, who uh, goes by the name Chef Pisa Soup. Uh, and so we'll meet both of them. But before I bring them on, I would also like to introduce our Thai interpreter for today, who's going to help us facilitate uh, uh, Kate uh, Hessenfuss, who is uh, also the publicist for Thai Select and the founder and president of Milestone PR. So Kate, welcome to the program. It is an honor to have you here today. Nika. Hello. Good to see you. So thank you so much. Really, it's an honor to have you on the program to, to help uh, us uh, facilitate this and interpret. So um, so let's go to Minneapolis, uh, where we are gonna go to, we're actually at the restaurant, Amazing Thailand Uptown, where we will meet Chef Pinam and Pisoup uh, in just a moment, but we will share their stories. And there they are. Sawadee Kap. So good to see you there. You've got the mortar and pestle ready to go and the beautiful spread. Um, so we're gonna learn all about some Tom in just a moment, but before we do, I'd love to learn a little bit more about you, Chef Pinam, and, and the restaurant. Um, now, where in the Isan region are you from, and, and how did you come to open up uh, a restaurant in Minneapolis? ได้ค่ะก็คือว่าจากที่เอ่อเป็นคนต่างจังหวัดคนอีสานนะคะคนหนองไข่อยู่กับพ่อแม่มาแต่น้อยก็คือว่าอยู่กับการที่พ่อแ
ทีนี้ก็ She's from the province of Nongkai, which is the northern uh, part of the northeast region, and she grew up eating lots of good foods from her parents and enjoy good foods, you know, cooked by her parents, and kind of learn from there. พอโตมาก็ไปย้ายไปอยู่ที่กรุงเทพไปเรียนหนังสือที่กรุงเทพทีนี้ด้วยความที่ชอบกินอ่ะก็เลยเที่ยวตัวเวนกินแต่อาหารที่มันอร่อยอร่อยที่ถูกปากจนได้ย้ายตัวมาอยู่ที่อเมริกาก็เลยต้องไปทํางานอยู่ที่ร้านเอร้านไทยที่ร้านแห่งหนึ่งทีนี้ด้วยความที่เราได้ฝึกฝนวิชามาต้องเยอะแล้วอยากที่จะทําให้ไม่ได้ถังใจตัวเองอ่ะก็เลยสักวันหนึ่งคิดอยู่ในใจว่าสักวันหนึ่งฉันจะต้องทําอาหารที่รสชาติแบบไทยๆและอร่อยที่ที่ถูกใจฉันให้ได้สักวันหนึ่ง So from Nong Kai, fast forward, she she moved to Bangkok eventually, and and in Bangkok there's a lot of you know place that you can go eat, and whether it be like street foods and also even like the Isan foods are also popular there, and so she loves to eat, she love enjoy, and she enjoy eating like the good foods, and then you know and fast forward she's here in in the U.S. And started working in a Thai restaurant, but she still like she still feel like the flavor is not there. The flavor of her hometown is not there, not there yet. And so, จนได้มีโอกาสที่ที่ได้เปิดร้านจริงๆก็เลยทําฉีกแนวเลยค่ะก็คือไม่ซ้ําร้านอื่นเลยไม่ซ้ําไม่ซ้ําไทยเลยก็คือเอาตามที่เราชอบแล้วลูกค้าก็ตอบรับได้อย่างดีค่ะก็ก็แปลกใจนะคะว่าทำไมลูกค้าก็ตอบรับในสิ่งที่เราเสนอให้ So when she opened บ้าน Yeah. So she. So when she opened her own restaurant, she said, "I'm gonna do something different. I'm gonna do something unique, uh, particularly something from my hometown food that I'm very proud of." And she was very uh, surprising that that a lot of Americans are very receptive to to the new the the new food concept that she's bringing into to Minneapolis. That's wonderful. I'd love to. I've got some photos that we'd like to share of the. Uh, Of the restaurant as well, and I know the decor of the restaurant has a really uh, nice story behind it. Um, we're going to pull up some photos, uh, I think, in just a moment here. Um, but um, can you tell us maybe a little bit about um, the location of the restaurant and the interior of the restaurant? เล่าให้ฟังหน่อยได้ไหมคะว่าร้านตั้งอยู่ที่ไหนแล้วก็การตกแต่งมีมีดีไซน์มีคอนเซปต์อะไรยังไงบ้างค่ะใช่ค่ะร้านตั้งอยู่ที่ถนนเฮนาปินนะคะตัดเดร็กสตรีทอัพทาวน์มินิแอร์พอลิสนะคะแล้วก็ดีไซน์ในการตกแต่งร้านจริงๆแล้วร้านอเมซิ่งเนี่ยคำว่าอเมซิ่งมันด้วยความบังเอิญบังเอิญคือว่าช่วงนั้นเป็นช่วงที่ทางทางเมืองไทยนะคะเขาโปรโมทเรื่องท่องเที่ยวการท่องเที่ยวแห่งประเทศไทยทีนี้ด้วยความที่เราอยากที่จะให้มันมีทุกอย่างของสี่ภาคมาผสมผสานในร้านเดียวกันก็คือเข้ามาเสร็จปุ๊บลูกค้าเดินก้าวเข้ามาในร้านก็จะได้สัมผัสถึงบรรยากาศของความเป็นไทยความอบอุ่นความประทับใจความที่คนไทยน่ารักในการเซอร์วิสอะไรเงี้ยค่ะก็เลยก็เลยเป็นคำ amazing Thailand เนี่ยค่ะขึ้นมาโดยความบังเอิญ Okay. Um. So, so the the restaurant is located in the uptown area of Minneapolis. Um. I might miss the 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 exact address, but you will will show that later on the on the Absolutely. chat. Absolutely. Right? We'll, we'll uh, add that in. Yeah. So a, as far as the the name of the restaurant, she said that she was uh, very in, uh you know wanted to present the the amazing uh, culture and the people and the warm welcoming hospitality from all over Thailand from all the regions of Thailand. At her restaurant, so hence the name of Amazing Thailand uh, Restaurant. And we have a photo of the inside with all the beautiful umbrellas. Um, do you want to? Oh well, and this beautiful display of the food. Here you go. What was the idea here? Can you tell me, Fang, that idea of the restaurant is how? It's like the idea of the restaurant. ก็คือจับจับจับจับซื้อซื้อมาเสร็จปุ๊บในสิ่งที่เราเราเราเราคิดคิดคิดคิดว่าจะแต่งยังไงเนี่ยคือว่าไม่ไม่อยากให้มันแบบเออมันล่มนะคะยกเว้นตัวอย่างก็ล่มถ้าเราเอาล่มอันเดียวไปตั้งหรือว่าไปติดไว้ข้างฝามันมันก็คงไม่น่าที่จะ amazing นะคะเพราะเราเราได้ชื่อว่า amazing ไทยแลนด์แล้วไงคะคำว่า amazing ก็คือเข้ามาไม่ต้องแบบว้าวเลยอย่างเงี้ยก็เลยเอาเอาล่มเยอะๆมามาติดไว้ข้างบนเลยค่ะเพื่อที่ว่าให้ให้รู้เลยว่าอ๋อนี่คือล่มมาจากหมอสร้างนะมาจากเมืองไทยเชียงใหม่ใช่ไหมคะใช่ค่ะ so uh, she said she didn't have to she didn't really have to like 
think much in terms of concept because she she has a lot of these beautiful uh, handmade parasol from Bo Sang, Ampu Bo Sang uh, district from Chiang Mai province in northern Thailand. Uh, and then she just kind of put them together and she, she, she found that it's very colorful, uh, uh, you know, that will add up and make the, the restaurant look very colorful and vibrant and, and energetic and kind of goes in with the, the, the foods from Thailand as well as amazing Thailand restaurant. Yeah, so well, tell us a little more about the, the food itself. Um, uh, you don't specifically only do Isan cuisine, but I know that you've added some of those, those things and you said it's been very receptive um, from the, the diners there. Uh, we're gonna share some photos of the food here and I'd love to hear maybe some stories about them or um, I think we've got some other photos up ahead that I, I'd like to show as well. Um, oh, well, this, this is uh, something you did for Valentine's Day. In fact, before we get to the food, why don't we talk about some of the events and, and promotions that you guys do? Tell us about this. And then I know we've got a fun uh, event, a, a photo after this as well. โอเคค่ะเดี๋ยวเราจะพูดเรื่องอาหารอ่าอีกอีกสักอีกสักครู่นึงนะคะแต่ตอนนี้ช่วยเล่าให้ฟังหน่อยได้มั้ยคะว่
Yeah, um, so we're going to get to some of the food photos. Um, love to talk more about some of your dishes. I know you do some weddings and catering here as well, um, which is that photo. And then the next photo, I think, is where we start the food. Um, so yeah, as we go through some of these photos, would you mind just telling us about the dishes and specifically if there's any of these that are from the Isan region as well? ดิชคืออะไรบ้างอย่างเงี้ยค่ะแล้วก็อันไหนที่เป็นที่เป็นซิกเนเจอร์ดิชของที่ร้านก็ไฮไลท์ได้เลยค่ะได้ค่ะก
uh, immigrants. So you have the Hmong, the, a lot of Asians there that, that are already familiar with Thai food and Isan food. So they love the, the authentic flavor that she's offering there. And sometimes when, 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 you know, some, someone who can't handle spice, she can tone it down a little bit, you know, if you request her. And then, uh, but, but most of the time, like she said, like the Asian clients and uh, in, in, in Minneapolis love the authentic, the, the very spicy uh, flavor of her, of her Isan food. That's amazing. Well let's, um, well, let's talk more about the papaya salad, which is the, um, what we're gonna prepare today. And um, as we're gonna learn, uh, there's both a, a version from Laos and a version from, from Thailand. So um, I think just quickly, we've got photos of both of those. We'll take a quick, oh, there's some sticky rice with mango, of course, to, to end the, uh, the meal. So this is the Thai version, is that right? And it can some Thai, yes. And then you can, you can see in the next photo, uh, the difference right, right off the bat. This is the Lao version. So why don't we actually, we'll stop the photos and we would love to, um, to see you both prepare. I know Chef Pea Soup is going to prepare one of the salads and Chef Pinam is gonna prepare the other and we can sort of talk about the differences as we go. Okay, so um, will they tell us to remind us who is uh, preparing which? So yeah, the, so Chef Kunlasatri is is making the central the Thai version of Som Tam, and Chef and Chef uh, Soup will be doing the Lao version. <laughs> She throw in uh, chilies and garlics, I think what I saw. Into both, so they're starting the same, is that correct? And squeeze some limes in there. Have you noticed they, they, they throw the whole thing, uh, you know, the, uh, the limes in there, including the skin, because they like to get the, the, the oil from the skin, which is make a big difference. Learn that from the and inside. Do, <laughs> do they take the lime out after they've pounded it or it just kind of turns into a paste? They serve it like that. They serve it like that. You see how yeah. she squeeze and then she, she just... Yeah. So um, in terms of differences, so far are they doing the same? It looks like... I know they're working furiously. Oh yeah, so the difference is you see from uh, Chef Su, she put the pala, which is the fermented fish sauce uh, that, that she put in that make a big difference in, the, in, that, uh, in that dish, that Lao version mm. is where they put the, the fermented fish sauce. And so that of course has a lot more sort of pungency and saltiness and- Yes, yeah. Yeah. Like said that it gives that kind of like the umami. The umami. That's the fermented fish. Homemade fermented fish. Wow. And that's also what gives it the uh, the darker color as well, right? That's why that's why it gets darker color in the, the love version. So would you ask them how long it takes to make that fermented fish sauce? ใช้เวลานานมั้ยในการทําปลาค่ะในการหมักปลาอ๋อปลานี่เอ่อเราจะต้มก่อนนะคะก็ประมาณ <laughs> So that's the Lao version. She said the process of the the para, she only took about three hours. Oh, okay. Thai. That's the Thai version, and they serve with the cabbage on the side. Yes. So uh, it actually helps when it gets too spicy. You just eat a lot of cabbage. Uh, that <laughs> <laughs> um, so I, I also wanted to ask: uh, Are both of these currently on the menu, or? Um, did you uh, used to offer both? What's the situation there? Thai, 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 
the Thai version is is on the <laughs> They're showing us how to eat it with the sticky rice there. Container for sticky rice like the way we do Keeps it warm in the container. We're very, very jealous right now. Made from bamboo. <laughs> You're making us hungry. <laughs> very hungry. Uh, does anyone, if anyone has any questions, um, about, uh, we actually are going to share the recipe as well. Um, so you will be able to make the Thai version of the papaya salad. Um, real quick, the main ingredients are uh, green papaya, right? Uh, yeah. Green papaya. Mm -hmm. papaya. <laughs> <laughs> papaya, the whole one, and then you shred it. You, you, you peel it and shred it. That's right. And then green and tomatoes. Limes, yes. And so that's how, that's how. And the and of course the dressing. Yeah, wonderful. Well, Cindy just shared all those ingredients and the recipe in the chat for everyone. Awesome. Um, so so yes. Unless anyone in the audience has any any other questions, um, this was really really amazing to see you both work so furiously, and we can tell how delicious they both are, and yes. you can kind of get a sense of flavor wise the differences here. I'm curious, is is one more popular than the other at the restaurant? Does one get ordered more? ที่ร้านเนี่ยอ่าเอ่อเวอร์ชั่นไหนป๊อปปูล่ากว่ากันคะเวอร์ชั่นไหนขายดีกว่ากันตามเราหรือตามไทยตามเราค่ะเวอร
She's going to start Hi. her. Hello, we just need to start your video. Hi. Hello. Good. So good. This is such an honor. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, yeah, thank you for having me too. <laughs> yes. So, um, so now tell us, you are currently in, um, in Isan, Thailand, right? And that is where you yeah. grew up. So yeah, my tell hometown. Us, yeah, tell us a little bit about. Oh, and of course, it is raining right now, so we might hear yeah. a little bit of rain in the background. Not unusual, I guess, in, in, uh, that, yeah. in that region. Um, and it's nighttime, of course, so it's about eleven hour difference. So uh, yeah, right now, almost at midnight. Almost at my hometown. <laughs> so really, thank you so so much for staying up late and and joining us now. Tell us a little bit about how you learned to cook and how you came to Miami to open up Siam Bistro, Siam Bistro. Um, yeah, because uh, when I was young, my mom, my parents, uh, they both love to cook it. And they always take me to, uh, took me to the market to uh, toss me how to select all the ingredients. Uh, this one were good, this one is uh, like I have a better quality and best name. And um, like uh, they teach me like uh, in the seasoning, uh, like in the each year, the, the season is different. They uh, teach me how to, to cook and prepare the food with the seasonal ingredient. And uh, the food is come out to have like a uh, more, more favorable meals. So we have, uh, I, I know that since you're there, of course, you've been visiting the market as well. So we have some yeah. photos we'd love to share um, mm -hmm. from the last week or so of you at the market, right? Um, yeah. So um, can you tell us maybe what we're seeing? Mm -hmm. This Is this the market that maybe you went to as a child and continue to go to today? Yeah, right now still, uh, this is a marketplace, like an open market. Yeah, they still uh, do the same thing, you know, that's is uh, they sell the uh, good, uh, uh, fruit, uh, fruit, uh, and... So this is the same market that she's go, she goes to, she's been going to since childhood. Yeah, wow, and I'm sure you probably know some, many of the vendors, if not all of them. Yeah, I think it's very good, you know, because uh, we have a relationship with the... Uh, the seller, yeah, and uh, they know us really well. Sometimes we don't have to say anything. We just say, "Oh, can I have a a clip? And they get the they uh, give us the good quality. It's amazing. So there's some more slides here of the market. I know you've been spending time there. Yeah, this is uh, uh, the booth that sell the chicken, and uh, you see my mom, the white shirt. Uh, like uh, when I was young, she like uh, take me to the market like uh, any time and like uh, taught me how to get the, the, the fish and quality. Yeah, that, that's wonderful. Um, did your mom, she was the one that taught you how to cook? Yeah, my mom, my dad, and I think it's good because uh, something they, they taught me about like a uh, unique or special tips that are uh, passed from my grandparents and then passed to my parents and then to me. Mm. That's on through generations. And, and I know you have a daughter as well. So is it being passed on to her as well? Yeah, yeah. Right now I start to uh, teaching her how to cook or marinating or get the, like, uh, pick the, the food stuff. And so what is, what is this? These are... Uh, Famous grilled uh, chicken? Is it chicken? Yeah, this is a uh, pizza chicken. Yeah, they uh, marinate with the earth and they, they put the stick on and grill. Uh, they like a uh, paste the chicken like a uh, butterfly and they grill it. <laughs> and a lot of those spices in the background, are they used in the marinade as well? Or? Uh, that, that's just uh, like uh, they have a uh, chili place, you know? That eat it as chicken, but they have a different type of the the thing that they put on. Some is a fish, some is a only the the herb, and uh, some is a with the pork. That they eat with the chicken and uh, sticky rice. Mm. 
Yeah, my mouth is watering seeing these photos. Uh, now, what is this story about bees? This is an interesting story. Yeah, yeah. There, there is a we call bee. It's right. like a, a, a rice offering that we do at the temple. Uh, we can say it's a COVID um, that uh, for celebrate the event. Uh, like uh, Mary. เป็นช่วงออกพรรษาใช่ไหมคะใช่ค่ะเป็นการจัดดอกไม้ช่วงออกพรรษาเป็นการจัดดอกไม้เพื่อไปเหมือนกับใช่ค่ะก็จะใช้ในในเทศกาลเช่นว่าเออเด็กเกิดใหม่หรือว่าแต่งงานหรือว่าเออการบวชการที่มีใหม่หรือว่าเวลคัมเออเขาเรียกว่าแขกที่ไม่เดือน So this is a special flower arrangement, very typical to Isan, called Bai Si. So Bai Si will will be used only in a special occasion, like the birthday of uh, you know of a newborn or welcoming friends from far away or special occasions. Uh, but this one in particular is at the end of the Buddhist Lent. A lot of Buddhists uh, in Isan uh, go to the to the temple to to to. You know, Food offering to the monk and and merit making you know, during this the end of the uh, business. Wow, and um, I think is the next slide. The oh, here we go. This is your mom again. Is this your mom? Yeah, my mom. <laughs> yeah, I, I I went to the market with her. Anytime that uh, like uh, she she go there, I I go with her. And are, are many of these things that we're seeing are these things that are also available in the United States, or are, are oh, they? Yes. Yeah, we, you can take from the uh, Chinese or like a Thai food. Yeah, mm -hmm. they they import from Thailand. Yeah. Uh, you can see like uh, the pumpkin. You see the the pumpkin. It the uh, the right hand side is look different shape, and the the flavor and the texture is different too. And I think the next photo is actually not a food photo, but something important in the market. Yes. Very <laughs> important. Yeah, this is a this is a rotary boot. You you like to get a one? I can uh, bring you one. Sure. I, why not? I guess it's. Uh, okay. Yeah. So um so it's really wonderful seeing some of these photos uh, from your hometown and where you are now. Um, but I'd love to learn a little more about how you came to Miami and about um, uh, Siam Bistro, which I believe is the next photo. Yeah. Can you tell me about how you came to Miami? How did you start? I started in 2007. I แต่ว่าพอตอนที่มีลูกสาวตอนอายุหนึ่งปีเนี่ยก็คือเอาซึ่งซิก็คิดว่าอยากจะมีร้านอาหารเป็นของตัวเองเพราะว่าตอน2006 she said it's time for me to start something for myself so she started Siam Bistro in 2007เราก็มีมีทีมนะคะตัวเองเป็นคนที่รักในการทำอาหารแล้วตอนอยู่เมืองไทยเนี่ยจะเป็นคนที่เรียนคอร์สทำอาหารเยอะมากเลยไปเรียนที่เอ่อคารีนารีสคูลนะคะสองที่มีดูสิแล้วก็มีชดอิเวนนะคะแล้วก็ก็คิดว่าเตงมีคารีสคูลเอ่อในไทยแลนด์ไลค์ดูสิเอ่อคารีนารีสคูลที่จะเป็นเวอร์ริเฟมัสคารีนารีสคูลในไทยแลนด์ของของไทยคุกกิ้งอืมแล้วร้านอื่นเปิดในปี2007แต่เธอมาที่อเมริกาเยอะมากก่อนนั้นไหม Yeah, I, I came on uh, uh, 2000, uh, 2004, but I used to work at the restaurant before, and um, I think I have a good team because uh, my husband worked at the restaurant like a really long time, like a 30 years, and uh, the, his uh, brother worked at the restaurant like a 45 years. He is uh, used to be a, a, a executive chef. And uh, he used to own the Vietnamese restaurant at South Beach. Hmm. And South I, Beach. I think it's a uh, yeah. I have a daughter, and I said, oh, this is a uh, she is the main thing that I think I have to open the restaurant. Yeah, 
Um, and, well, and tell us, we're gonna, before we get into the photos of the food, I would just love to hear, cause I talked a little bit about it, but how would you describe Isan cuisine as sort of, how is it unique and different from other regions of Thailand? If someone's never heard of Isan food, how would you describe it? Isan food uh, is a big, uh, uh, like a big area. We, we have like a 20 uh, provinces and uh, most is, I think like a Isan is a agriculture city. It's a city. Uh, agriculture, known for agriculture for its agriculture. They yes, rice. Uh -huh, yeah, and we we plant a lot of uh, a type of rice, mm -hmm. and for the whole country and uh, mm. uh, export, and uh, we have a uh, a lot of herb that we plant uh, for the whole country, and Thai people love aloma. And another thing is a pork. We have a lot of a uh, uh, pig farm, you know. Mm. Uh, that um, uh, is a uh, base that uh, is not like to do that, you know, like uh, we make like a snack with a pork, you know, that, that I'm going to show you for today. Yes. About like a uh, uh, pork and rice and herb. Very excited to see your, your cooking. Um, but also I'd love to share some more photos of the food from your restaurant as well. Could you maybe tell us about what we're seeing? This is a uh, uh, orange paradise chicken. I learned uh, from my uh, family about like uh, the seasonal coming. I have to make the food from uh, like uh, fruit or vegetable or like a material for that uh, season. Yeah, that, that is a, uh, we have a food uh, orange and we make the food with the orange. Mm, looks delicious. Okay, and the next photo is. Uh... This is uh, we call bun with the uh, like a combination with vegetable with uh, noodle and uh, real meat. It's really healthy and they like uh, this. Yeah, you know, uh, people love it at my restaurant. Yeah, because it's uh, healthy and uh, people on the it like to order that. Yeah, it looks very refreshing and light and uh, mm -hmm. fresh. And that is a uh, papaya salad with the uh, uh, isan grilled chicken and sticky rice. This is uh, our signature at the restaurant. And, and so uh, you see, yeah. I was going to say this is probably very common to the way families eat in in isan. I've learned right you sort of set up a few dishes and everyone kind of has uh, shares a little bit. Is that right? Yeah, some some people like uh, finish uh, the whole thing, but uh, <laughs> yeah, you can share that. Yeah, it's kind of like a big portion. Yeah, people uh, enjoy because uh, combination with the salad, with the roti, like a grilled chicken and the, the sticky rice, that is a uh, signature of the Isan uh, rice. I think we have uh, just a few more photos. Uh, is yeah, it curry of this, some sort? Green yeah, curry? This is a green, green curry. We really found with the uh, uh, curry at the restaurant because uh, we do like an authentic and uh, like a customer love it because uh, when we put everything on the curry, we think about like a, what is uh, bring the the food are uh, more flavor and leaf fish and like a, like a medicine you see the the purple one is the uh, eggplant it's good for your stomach you know yeah, and uh, we serve with the uh, uh, basil that is uh, for my my garden oh i love that yeah, yeah we plant a lot of uh, herb at my garden and this and is that, dessert yeah yeah there is a uh, dessert is a uh, Tapioca pudding, I broil with the coconut milk and uh, I put uh, some some uh, fruit like a, about like like a depend on the se uh, season. Some I have a melon. Sometimes I have a uh, uh, the long can or some I have like a mango. I put on the the tapioca. Yeah. And, and I, I imagine. 
Uh, being in Florida, I imagine you've got access to a lot of similar ingredients to Thailand due to climate similarities. Is that is that right? Yeah, yeah, it's right. Yeah, because of the weather and uh, a lot of Thai people here, we can plant anything like a, like a Thailand, like it's a amazing. herb, like a papaya salad, a papaya or like a, like a mango. Yeah, we can plant at the backyard. Uh, and this is the dish that you're going to prepare for us and show us today, correct? This is yeah, yeah, correct. Uh, that is a uh, spicy salad with the uh, uh, curry rice. Yeah, yeah. That is a combination. We... Yeah. Yeah. No, please tell us what it is. I think that this is a combination because I tell you before about like uh, like uh, the oh oh no, did we just lose? Chef Waruni. Oh, we were doing so well. <laughs> okay, well, hopefully she'll be back in a moment. I mean, she is, this was quite a, a, a feat calling in from Thailand um, with the weather being what it is. Um, well, with the dish, I believe is called Nam Khao Tad. Are, are you familiar with the dish, Kate, that she's gonna prepare? Nam Khao Tad, Nam Khao Tad, it's basically, it's the ba the main ingredient, which is she's gonna show you how to make, is the is the kio pork sausage. It's kio pork uh -huh. sausage, Isan style though. So, so, so I think the, the main ingredient is the pork and the rice and, and some other herbs that she will, she will explain uh, later when she comes out, I, I, I hope. And then, and then they use that as the main ingredient. And then with, with cow tart mean literally translation would mean a crispy fry rice ball. So they're gonna break that rice ball and serve with the, with the kyo pork sausage. Yeah, have you ever tried this dish before? Oh, of course. Um, of course, I'm yeah. Really from Isan, so I'm very familiar. Oh, I didn't know, I actually didn't know you were from that region. Okay. Family, uh, yeah. family uh, from Isan. I was, I was born and grew up uh, in Isan, and then and then I went to high school and college in Bangkok. So ah okay. So yes, you're very familiar with this. I had a version of this at a restaurant in Queens, uh, a restaurant called uh, Hugs Isan. Isan, okay, I heard of it. Yeah, and I I had the Nam Khao Tad. I don't believe it was in like a ball form though there. So <laughs> they break it. They break it. So customers, oh. if you serve it in the mall, like some you know customer might not know how to to eat it. You know so. So for your convenience, sometimes they just break it. Yes, down. that makes sense. Well, we've got Chef Waruni back, which is great. Oh, sorry, um, just, lost connection. That's okay. I think you're you're sideways though. I wonder if there's a way of turning the camera so that we, uh, um, we'll see you the long way. But it, well, if not, I mean, at least you're you're right side oh, okay. up. Oh, here we are. Perfect. So we were, Kate and I were just talking a little bit about the dish you're going to prepare, but we'd love to, to see you do it and maybe tell us a little bit about what you're doing as you, as you go through. Okay. Yes, make the pork, the pork uh, sausage is on style. So this is how she's, she's going to do it. She's going to do it. So we've got a spread there on the table um, of, of all the ingredients that are going to go in here. So she's, this is the pork that she's preparing. She's getting ready to mix this with pork. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I show you uh, about the uh, put the pork with the garlic. This is a meat pork. Meat. Mm -hmm. she, she put the garlic in the. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. And the pork has already been fermented. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. uh, this is uh, the process that uh, we're gonna uh, ferment it. Okay. It's, uh, After salt. It's mixed. It's a, okay. It's a, it's a uh -huh. And then I'm gonna put uh, some of the rice to make the fermented uh, perfect, you know. Rice, uh any pen cow cow like cow soup, cow dip cow yang. Any any steam rice, steam rice. Yes. Yeah. But this is just just mean rice two things. It's bread rice and white white bread rice. Yes. And white uh, jasmine rice. Mix in there, but you have to steam and cook it first. 
not raw, mm -hmm. not raw. Not raw rice, yeah. right? So yeah. So so she's adding just for everyone. She's added garlic, uh, uh, cooked rice, jasmine rice, yeah. and pork. Yeah. And uh, this is going to be beans. and so and then this is a pork skin, like a boy pork skin. Pork skin. Boy pork skin. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, yum! Wow. I, I've eaten all the time, but I I've never seen how they make it. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> this My is new for all of us. My mom's favorite. For sure. <laughs> yeah. So she put the the, the marinated mix in uh, the, the banana leaves. And that's how they're gonna wrap it. So it ferments in the banana leaf. Yes. Wow. Beautiful because it, then it's get the aroma of the sure. banana leaves. Sure. Yeah. Mm. It's come out like this. Wow. Uh, and then, uh, about a day, it'd be good, but two days is better. Okay. Recommended. But, uh, and if, if, for, if someone here wants to make this but can't find banana leaf, can they use something else? Foil or... ใบตองใช้อย่างอื่นแรปแทนได้มั้ยคะอ๋อก็ได้ค่ะใช่มั้ยถ้ามีอย่างเช่นว่าถ้ามีเอ่อใบเอ่อแคปบิชก็ได้
but you use the mix of uh, different kinds of jasmine. different kinds. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and this uh, cook shredded uh, coconut meat. Oh. Wow. I mean, you can see, and we've then, talked last week about all the different flavors that go into mm -hmm. Thai cuisine, and it's you can a, see it happening here. Yes, cafe lamli. Uh -huh. love the smell of the, the, the aroma. Uh -huh. of, I can smell it from. I know. Oh, okay. I know that's, <laughs> yeah, palm, palm sugar. Uh huh. It really is amazing what, what uh, seeing food can do. It brings up those, those senses, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. those and memories. Then, yeah, and this, uh, I put uh, a little bit of the song. And this is uh, egg, white and uh, egg yolk. Mm. Okay. Yeah, to put everything like uh, together, like uh, I have to mix and they're gonna hold it with the, the uh, egg. That'll keep it together. Mm -hmm. This is a uh, very curly mix. The cheese Yep. Mix everything together. It mix really well, okay. Yeah. Um, is this a dish that you have on the menu at the restaurant? Uh, I, I have nam so salad, you know. But after the show, I'm gonna do a special with the curry rice because uh like an authentic, you know. Mm. Ah, so anyone who is in South Florida must go mm -hmm. try this for themselves. Yeah. Mm. Mix everything very really well. <laughs> okay, she's going to probably gonna form the, the rice balls. Form the balls here. And then after that, they're, they're deep fried, right? Yeah. You see like this? They're going to make like a ball. Like this, okay? And then they're going to deep fry, okay? Nice. Yeah, maybe it's okay. But uh, you know the time is short. I, got, I, I <laughs> yeah. can make some already. <laughs> yes. So yeah. she's already yeah. have the, the, the pre-fried one. For yeah. 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 It's the one mm. that okay. I cook already. Okay. And then I'm going to make the salad with the, the, the curry rice with the, the pork, uh, fermented pork. Now she can make the actual dish that, that, that after she's done. It's, it's incredible how many components are involved here. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. And is this usually eaten as a as a meal or a starter or with other things? Kind of like a kind of like a starter. Yeah, <laughs> it's incredible how much goes into the starter. <laughs> Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it isn't even the main dish. Yeah. But sometimes you can do a lot of, you know, side dish like the Isan style. You yes. Have, um, you have lab, you have namso, you have the, you know, all, all the all the Isan cuisine and eating like all in together and family style. You know, that's how that's how Thai people like throughout the country. That's how we eat. We eat family style and with lots of side dish. Yeah. Okay. Right now we're gonna make the the salad. Okay, we have to break the. The fermented pork. People like the curry rice because uh, the chicken is uh, crispy outside, mm -hmm. but they have the flavor inside. Mm -hmm. you see the curry paste and uh, some spicy from the, the rest curry paste. Oh, gosh. You don't see it comes in a, in a ball shape. So. Right, right. This is, I, yeah, I didn't realize that when I had, when I had, had it at the restaurant. I guess so. It's so it can mix in better with the sauce later too. Makes sense. Yeah. Oh, oh. I forget to to tell you about like uh, how long that they fry the the uh, uh, curry rice. Mm. It takes like uh, seven or eight minutes to make uh, outside crispy. In high heat, Oh, uh, yeah. mid, medium high. And any uh, specific oil that you use. Uh, uh, vegetable, vegetable oil. Vegetable oil. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then I put the shallot uh, 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 slide, a scallion. Fried scallion. Mm -hmm. I put the shredded uh, Julian uh, ginger. Ginger, fresh ginger. Mm -hmm. Fresh ginger. The fried uh, peanut. 
Um, and so um, one of the viewers, Leah, uh, asked if this was your own red curry paste recipe. So this is something that you- Yeah. Yeah, this is uh, my uh, own curry paste. Let's, uh, let's speed up as at the restaurant. Yeah. Uh, you can see the recipe is uh, uh, don't have like an animal product. It's uh, the curry for the vegetarian people too. Yeah, vegan so, or vegetarian, yeah. Wow, that's wonderful. Well, and thank you for sharing with us the, the recipe mm -hmm. as well. I'm gonna certainly try my hand at it. Mm -hmm. uh, this is like this sauce this. and this uh, lamb juice. And and again, uh, Siam Bistro, you guys are open now uh, currently, even though you're in Thailand, of course, your family is there running it, correct? So- uh, Yeah, my husband, the brother still uh, open the restaurant. Yeah. Okay. And, and you have uh, indoor seating is, is allowed there? I, I, it's hard uh, to stay on top of all the, all the rules in each state. Yeah, when, when I go back, yeah, I kind of open the dining ah. room. Yeah. <laughs> right now it's takeout and delivery, is that correct? Yeah, takeout and delivery. Got it, okay. Wow. And the presentation here. <laughs> beautiful, wow. Really beautiful. Okay. okay. This is uh, the dish. And uh, it's, oh nice. my gosh, thank you so much. And you guys will have a nice midnight snack, I guess. Consider <laughs> Okay. <laughs> uh, don't, um, don't forget, okay, because uh, when I go, uh, go, uh, go back to U USA, I can uh, bring you the, the lottery, Thai lottery, uh, you get yes. the lucky for that. Oh, well, and I, would, I would share some with you. If I won from the lottery okay. brought from Thailand, it's only fail uh -huh. for the yeah. lottery. And, and this is uh, when I go, go back home and uh, go back to the United States. This is the uh, one that they're going to make special. Amazing. Uh, so we rice salad. Like uh, this one, no pork and with a few Siam Bisto grilled chicken. Wow. Thank you so much. Even if I don't win the lottery, when I get down to Miami, I will feel like I won the lottery when I get to try your food. <laughs> Okay, welcome. So, yes, we. I really look forward to it. This has been great. I don't know if um, um, if uh, if the chefs at Amazing Thailand Uptown are still around watching, but if they are, you know, it'd be wonderful to to say a thank you and a, and a goodbye. But they may be dealing with uh, restaurant going ons, which is totally fair. Um, so regardless, I want to thank um everyone. Uh, thank you, Kate, so much for, for interpreting and joining in the conversation with us today. Uh, thank you, um, the chefs at Amazing Thailand Uptown. Thank you, Chef Waruni uh, in Thailand. Uh, be sure to check out both of these restaurants. We've dropped all of the info in there. Uh, thank you again to Thai Select USA uh, for their support and helping us put these uh, programs together. Uh, and we will be back next week on Tuesday with our final episode in this series so be sure to check that out um, and, uh, and enjoy the rest of your afternoon, everyone. Thank you again. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for having us. Bye-bye.